Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What's For Dinner. If you're new here, my name is Mandy. In these videos, I like to share with you what I make for my family of four. I am living a keto lifestyle. I do make regular meals for the rest of my family and I just adapt them to fit my keto lifestyle. I hope you guys enjoy. Our first meal is breakfast for dinner, and this is my plate. I'm having the broccoli bites and some zero net carb bread. Everyone else is having hash browns and regular toast. Tonight's dinner is kind of an oddball dinner, but I just wanted to try to use up some stuff that we had in the freezer. So I'm gonna do some tater tots. This is Aldi brand. I'm gonna do tater tots in the air fryer. I'm going to thaw this out and put it on the grill um, before it gets a little too chilly outside. And these are some white beans and ham that we had earlier in this year. Um, this was a recipe from Stacy Meyer's cookbook and I believe I have it linked in my Amazon store. If you wanna check it out, it is her crock on cookbook and they were really good so I'm just gonna thaw they're frozen so I'm gonna thaw them out a little bit in the microwave and then just put them in a pot and um, dinner will be done I may go ahead and do like a little side salad um, just for myself because I'm gonna be having the sausage so I may do a little side salad as well but I'll show you when it's all plated up Jason did all the cooking on this night, which was absolutely fabulous. He made chicken calzones. A couple of nights ago, we had watched a barbecuing show and the guy was making pork calzones. And we decided to use chicken because we didn't have any thick cut pork chops. So Jason is getting the chicken out of a brine and what the brine is made up of is four cups of water, a third cup of kosher salt, or if you wanna use regular salt, use a quarter cup of salt. And we also used one tablespoon of the Body of Complete, and he let this brine for about 30 minutes to an hour. So he just split the chicken breast open, and he's putting on the pepperoni and then he'll put a slice of ham on each one of them and then the mozzarella cheese. I don't know about you ladies, but I absolutely love a man that knows his way around in the kitchen. I love when Jason cooks and does things on the grill. So what he's doing now is just folding over the chicken and he's gonna put some toothpicks in to hold the chicken in place. So now he's just brushing some olive oil on the chicken. He'll brush that on both sides. And then he uses a little bit of the body of complete and sprinkles some of that on each side. And then we will be putting them on the grill. He's also gonna make some baked potatoes and I will not lie, I did have a baked potato because it seems like everything always tastes better if somebody else makes it for you. But you guys have seen me do the baked potatoes before. We just put some oil on the outside of the potato and then sprinkle kosher salt on the outside and that is how we grill them. He did do them in the microwave on the potato setting for a few minutes 
and then when we put them on the grill that just kind of helps crisp up the pilling and it is amazing if you live somewhere where it's colder and you can't go outside just yet to grill you can do this in the oven as well and crisp up the outside of the um, potatoes Oh my goodness, you guys, these were absolutely delicious and it is a wonderful keto or low carb meal minus the baked potato. On this night, I'm keeping it simple and just having an antipasta salad with lettuce, ham, cheese, olives, all the fixings. On this night, we're having breakfast for dinner again, and it's gonna kind of be like an omelet, but not in omelet form. So I just need eggs, sausage, ham, the queso from Aldi, and heavy whipping cream. I always start my sausage in the pan, and then while that is frying, I will get my eggs together and whisk the heavy whipping cream in my eggs, ready to make scrambled eggs. If you don't know this, I'm gonna share a little tip about avocados. If you take a knife and cut it all the way around in the center of the avocado, you can twist it and it pops right off. And another trick, I learned this from Jen Chapin, take your knife and just tap it into the seed and then twist it and it comes right out of the avocado. Easy peasy. So now I am just using my little chopper and chopping up the sausage, getting it nice and crumbled, adding in the diced ham to get that warmed up. And once that's done, I will add in my eggs and get those scrambled up. And once they're finished cooking, I add in my queso. And I probably used a good three to four tablespoons of cheese. We like it really cheesy and then you just mix that up and when i add in the cheese i do go ahead and turn off the burner and because basically all i'm doing is just mixing it up so that the cheese gets warm i sliced the avocado and put that on top of the egg mixture and i served it up with some tater tots for everyone else so that's a wrap on this what's for dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will say my favorite meal out of this week was definitely the chicken calzones. They were absolutely delicious and I highly recommend you trying them. It was a very easy meal to make. If you do try one of the meals in this video or any of my other what's for dinner videos, I would love to see what you make. If you post it over on Instagram and tag me in it at living in the mom lane, I would love to see what you're making. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.